Hello everybody, welcome back to another Mega Truck Simulator episode here on the Gamer Dunn channel. Today we are going from the Dallas, which is where we're currently at, to Surrey, which is up in Canada, which is right across the line, right across the border. Uh, we got a load of cattle on, um, uh, how much? 88,138 pounds of cows. Uh, we got 391 miles to go. Seven and a half hours in game time. 23 minutes for a lifetime. Uh, we're driving John Rudis Peterbilt 389 glider with the Detroit Series 60 by Z Mods. Also has 18 speed in it. And this is a Wilson cattle haul trailer. Um, I think you can find it on Steam Workshop. I know you can on the SES forums anyway, but yeah. But let's jump in here and get this thing going. We're going to have to pick up some fuel at some point. Turn this off here. Okay. One second here and we'll hit the road. It's currently 5.30. Around there, all right. Once this is get these cows going on down the road here, these load of movement girls. Go go girls, that's what they're called. Make sure you do some smooth shift and you're holding live star. Easy in the curve, just keep it nice and calm. Get there and have a whole bunch of dead cows. Ain't do shit with dead cows. I could eat them, but you know what I mean. Shifting gears going through tur turns like that. Kind of asking for troubles. Get ready to turn right. Turn right. Just my head center. Is that loud as hell? Just my head center. How much money I make off this load? 125,000. You fucking A. Okay. You can make good money. Hauling cattle. We're looking at the map and see where our fuel stop is. Shit. 
let's see. I think I stop here. Uh, that is 31 miles. Ready to roll. We got enough fuel to do that. Sure, you can add you can add a hell of lights up on this trailer. I mean there's four rows of lights on each side that you can add. Change multiple axles. It's like you have, all right, now we got a tandem axle with a steer axle at the very back. You can have four axles, go on like we got now. You can have one that's just a drop down axle, no steer. You have spread axle, normal tandems. Did four on that bypass. if I can figure out how to change the dash lights in this thing. I don't know if you can through the open diff file or not. The regular file file is locked. So, I don't know how to go do it through the regular file, but it's locked, so I can't do it that way. I'm hoping we can do it through the uh, open diff file for this truck. I want to change the damn dash lights. Kind of surprised that that's not even an option. You know what I mean? Right, and then exit right. Exit right. This thing just does not want to come out of seventh. I go to the outside view, I can't see the light. Oh, the axle down? Yeah, it's down. Easy. Turn left. Turn left. Turn left. I got you. Oh, tanker yanker. Looks like she's packed tonight. Look at that, got one open right there for us. I don't want to see the damn fucking other. They're all through the pump. That ain't right. Okay. 
Let's pull her up. Five sixty two a fucking gallon. Holy shit, man. Wonder why I ain't making no money. Wall to wall and treetop tall, buddy. Packed in there like a bunch of sardines. Wake them up. Keep left and then turn left. <sighs> you can't go down this way. That's what we're looking for. this way. Six thousand one hundred and seventy six pounds. Should be coming up here soon. Oh no, I don't guess I did change time. Be doing a nighttime run, I guess. I swear I changed it to five o'clock. Go straight on. That's all right.
probably a good thing we're doing this night time anyway. It'd probably be too hot to run them down the road during the daytime. I think the most expensive load I've ever hauled was a load of a, was a load of concert equipment come, uh, come taking it to the distribution center from the manufacturer. Keep right. Big ass speakers and shit like that. The very first load I ever hauled was a load of uh, empty glass bottles. Went from Oklahoma City out to uh, San Diego. That was my first day actually driving out on it. Well, I went through the school and I drove on the road then, but I mean out in the real world, you know what I mean. First time I ever drove a load and got paid for it by the mile, I guess you could say. Got pulled over in Albuquerque, New Mexico, because the headlight was wiggled. And I guess it wiggled itself unplugged or something like that. So it got pulled over because it didn't have a headlight on. All we had to do is just plug it back in and go down the road. So Kenworth T2000. Big old Cummins in it. Thirteen speed. I've rode just about every truck except for a Western Star. I never get the opportunity to drive a Western Star. I think my favorite is still the Bobos, the VNLs, like 860s and 720s, so they are 760s. Can't really remember right offhand. Just nice, quiet, smooth riding trucks. The Joe Peterbilt's like driving a soapbox down the road. They might look good, but they're rough. Taker trailer either.
would see what had been the first accident I ever had or incident, whatever you want to call it. I guess I, when a dude took him, the passenger side of the mirror off the truck, pulled out of a parking spot. There's trucks parked long ways in front of us and it wasn't supposed to be. So when you went to pull out, you had to cut it sooner. And the trailer just swung over and just knocked the mirror off. The dude stopped. It didn't no problem. He's apologized and everything. I said, well, just, you know, shit happens. You know, big deal. Go down and get her replaced. Not a big deal at all. Four hundred dollars what the damn mirror cost. It wasn't even heated or anything. It was just standard. So on that's actually on one of the Volvos. expensive accident I ever had was when I backed into the transformer at Walmart. Oh, well, because it wasn't Walmart. There's like a, it was a dirt parking lot between Walmart and a restaurant. The Walmart parking lot and a restaurant. And there's like a big dirt lot there where the trucks park. It was dark. I pulled in there, was backing up. Of course, you couldn't see the damn thing. It's only probably, what, maybe four foot wide probably like a four by two foot tall two or three foot tall Keep green box I didn't hit it hard or anything it just hit enough where it moved it and it, I guess shorted itself out or something I don't know it's about the worst thing that's ever happened most scary is or what but so, um, I used to hate hauling those big old metal coils you only put like two of them on the flatbed and it weighs you out you're grossed out I hated hauling those damn things so if somebody cut you off you had to hit the brakes real hard those things come forward and I'll just run the fucking cab of the truck over it like it wasn't even there 
didn't have a headache rack or anything. The bulkhead. I hated hauling those damn things. Really, you can put three chains on each one and that'll be enough for DOT regulations. Always put four, sometimes five, I don't know. Always like to have the extra one on there just in case, you know what I mean? distribution center well no it's a warehouse um, to unload it and there's lumpers the uh, lumper someone who unloads your, unloads your trailer for you dude wanted four hundred and seventy five dollars to unload the trailer I was like bullshit <laughs> show me what to do I'll unload it myself and I'll keep the money Had to take everything I can. We had to break the pallets down, restack them on new pallets, wrap them back up with the strain wrap or shipping wrap, whatever you want to call it, and then go put it in the warehouse where it needed to go. It didn't take that long to do, really. It was about an hour, maybe an hour and a half. Those lumpers were making money though. There's down almost 500 bucks for two hours worth of work. It's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Unloaded and just charged them three fifty for money in my pocket. Wasn't that hard. You had to break them down that way they could make sure that. It Every pallet has full of canned food, like the center of the pallet's not nothing empty. You're just trying to rip them off or shit. talking keep right and then continue straight on oh what is this shit go straight on plane closed ahead what the fuck is making that noise Seagull or something. I gotta be able to go through there. There's no other way to get around it. Keep right. Okay, yeah, we can get through here on the right. Alright, I got you now. I couldn't tell me that was a uh, 
lane or the shoulder of the road. What the hell will place be breaking down? About my luck. Keep All right, running. we're at the border, so you better hide the cocaina. No, don't do it. Hide it. Yeah. Trucks. There's a damn bird again. Oh, boom. You gotta rip it up like that when you're Go down. Go straight on. Floating. Those RPMs up there. I talked about driving, truck driving, it's one of these other videos why they do certain things like rip it up and, you know. Just fucking give her. Hey, bud. Just send it. Thank you, Billy Bob. Let me go. How not, Sylvia? Because I ain't really got a clue where the hell I'm going. Guess I just couldn't scale me back here. Never mind. I'll find a new route. Never mind. I'll find a new route. Left. You selected left, Greg. And then turn right. 95,700 pounds. Turn right. straight on open Canada this is a uh, pro mods it should look pretty good of course it's not I don't can't see shit Kilometers. Like what, 50? 52? Come on, driver, now you get past on the right, there's something wrong. I got plenty of fuel. I'll take it, just. Mm. Seems like too much further. We should be there. I thought it was just right across the border. Go straight on. 
don't know if you can or not. That's interesting. I don't think you can. Imagine if you can, there's probably that shit ton of paperwork you gotta do. Straight on. Can't see the kilometers per hour on that gauge. I mean, not gauges. I don't know why I say gauges. Thunder. Bullshit. Get ready to turn right. Turn right. Walk down the damn railroad tracks. No one to pick this up from your rail yard. Got the stupid blinker shit going. When you got your blinker on, it makes safe and sound. Makes it lug. Please proceed to loading area. I got you, driver. There somewhere. There it is. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. One load of cows delivered.
395 miles, 21 hours, 11 minutes, 88.2 gallons of fuel burn. Got $125,338. That's pretty damn good for 400 miles. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to. Don't forget to like. Subscribe. Share. And leave a comment down below. We'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.